So I haven't been able to um, record anything in the last couple of days. Uh, it's been what, like three days? My phone's been super full and I haven't had a lot of um, battery and I just haven't, I only copied stuff over to my computer just now. So now I can finally record something. Uh, I've gotten quite a lot done in the last couple of days. I feel like a lot less stressed. I still feel pretty overwhelmed, but I feel better because like I'm starting to do stuff. I'm starting to clean stuff out. I removed a whole lot of stuff and put it in the shed. Um, so the boat's a lot emptier. Uh, I still have one more run to go. So today I took out some more stuff. The aft blockers still need taking out. Um, as you can see behind me, there's a little more space now. Um, so that's awesome. And I can start finally cleaning and, you know, getting mold and dirt off the wall. Give it a nice coat of white paint once that's done and then start doing interior. Uh, so far all I have is like a phone charger and one light. I got a stove today and it's working. So I've got that set up. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna leave it here. I think I might take it onto the other boat where I'm sleeping so that I can cook there and just bring snacks here. Like I can have breakfast and dinner there and I can just bring like a can or something for lunch. Um, because it's, it's kind of uncomfortable to have to bring like food over here and then be cooking and like working and I don't know it's just it kind of sucks so I, yeah I take the gas bottle and the stove over to the other boat so that I can um cook over there in the meantime because I have my food over there and stuff and kind of just be working here um so yeah I'm, I'm feeling a bit more motivated now um there's a lot of work to do hopefully I'll feel a little more happy once everything is clean which is gonna be nice um, and then I guess I'm gonna start sh like stripping everything important out from the bow back uh, and then start doing fiberglass work in the bow it's gonna be the easiest place to start because I already know what I want to do layout wise so there's not that much um, decision making it's more just work and then the further back uh, I get in the boat the more there's like options as to what kind of interior I want to do so it gets a little more um, picky choosy about what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna start in the bow because um, it's gonna stay it's gonna stay a bed it's gonna be the same the bulkheads gonna be in the same place so there's there's not that much decision making to do honestly so that's the first thing I'm gonna do um so yeah let's hope it goes well um yeah so hopefully I'll be able to do more videos now um, a little more regularly. I'll take some pictures later as well so you can see how it's looking. Uh, so that that's kind of the, the plan right now. So this is what the boat looks like at the moment. There's lots of stuff still being taken out. Um, these are like kind of the rests that I have to get rid of. Then I already cleaned certain parts. So this was the first spot I actually got clean. Then after that I cleaned the oven, the stove, which doesn't work, but oh well. I found a whole lot of trash and I kept finding more and more of it. Then I found a couple of leaks. Luckily there's very few. There's only like two drips. So that's great. Um, I kept removing more stuff. Uh, I found, actually there's still stuff hiding even though I thought it was empty, but I somehow kept acquiring more and more of it. Uh, I installed a light and a, pa a solar charger, a really bad one, but it's something. And then once I got everything empty, there's lots and lots of mold on the, bo on the boat. If you can see that all those little stains are just all mold. It's really bad. Uh, the boat's been sitting for a long, long time, so I'm getting all of that out with chlorine because it's it's terrible. And there's also just a huge amount of cockroach droppings, which is a major problem. The boat used to have a big cockroach infestation. Um, it doesn't have any anymore, but it's definitely a lot of work to get it all clean, and it's a pretty disgusting job. So as you can see there on the walls, it's just all pretty terrible. And the first step is just to get that out because it's it's too much too uncomfortable to work in. So I'm giving it a really deep, thorough cleaning. Um, this is more stuff I found. I took the panels off the roof. If you see that wood panel, it's full of mold. I got rid of that because I can't be breathing that and it's trash. So I got those off. That's the first thing I've actually dismounted. Then I found a problem. I found a drip in the bilge. The bilge used to be dry and it suddenly started dripping. So I guess the shaft gland, the, the dripless gland is dripping. It's supposed to be dripless. Anyway, it's not apparently. I don't like salt water getting in the boat and those are relatively decent amount i have a pump so i've been pumping it out but it's not too great um i took 
advantage of the situation though to clean the bilge which as you can tell is filthy it's full of oil and debris of all kinds like the amount of debris is insane so the bilge compartment was filling up so i decided to clean it out this was all in the bilge and there were several of those buckets it was not just one it's insane it's like this bizarre mix of everything so that's me after doing that job i decided to give up i go home and i enjoy the fact that i have a working stove i ordered pizza due to having a stove <laughs> but anyway i got veggies uh it's pandemic so i gotta wash it all and then i just gave up for the day i had a shower and i decided to enjoy a hot tea and some pizza and have a rest and i'm gonna continue the next day so i'm gonna continue tomorrow and um that's that so thanks for watching guys um i'll see you next time